There are hundreds of software out there and whether you are new to architecture or currently practicing architecture, knowing softwares is very overwhelming, especially if you don't know which software to really focus and key in on knowing. And if you are very established in architecture because softwares are constantly updating and constantly being invented and all that good stuff, it's kind of hard to keep up to date as to what is the most modern software and best software to know. There are are a lot of commonalities between architecture school and the professional world as you will be responsible for presenting and producing all of the architectural representations of your project or building proposal. And a lot of softwares, good and bad, are marketed out there to help you with that. So today's video is going to briefly list out and explain seven softwares to know if you study architecture, if you are a professional, and there's really no software out there that really does it all. Each software has a lot of pros and cons to them, but I hope today's list can help break down important softwares that you should probably pay attention to and keep an eye out for. The first software to know is Revit Architecture. So Revit is created by Autodesk. They also create AutoCAD, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video. Fantastic software to know. About 95% of the working world in architecture will be using Revit. Simply put, you will struggle working with other architecture firms if you don't know Revit, if you don't use Revit, that kind of thing. Revit, however, is a fantastic software because you could make one change to your drawing in one view and then it changes it in all of the other views. So let's say I move a wall in a 3D view, but then as a result, the plan changes, the section changes, interior renders, they change where the wall placement was. It's fantastic, it is so great. Revit also has a parametric library of objects and modeled figures that you can quickly insert into your model to make it look more realistic. So this is great if your client does not know anything about architecture because visualization is definitely a really important part to architecture as it just explains how the building will function and look like and work for your client. Revit is also great because you can work on it with multiple individuals. Other programs aren't as forgiving as this and it's definitely a big downside to a lot of the other programs that I'm about to mention. But you can work on the same model at the same time and work on a cloud Revit model, whatever your firm does. It's in my personal experience. They do not teach Revit in school. Very frustrating, I know, but you need to know Revit. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So please get out there, take an online class, watch some YouTube videos if you can't afford to take an online class and go from there. The second program to know is SketchUp. Ah! <laughs> so SketchUp is now actually owned by Google. Google bought them, I want to say in 2005, 2006. And SketchUp is a great quick modeling tool used by interior designers, designers, architects, all those good creatives out there. It's great. And because SketchUp is now owned by Google, there's a lot of Google features that are now integrated with the program, which is great news for you. So a lot of the times in the architecture world, you will have to do a lot of site analysis and topo analysis. And because Google Maps, which I'm sure you've heard of by now, is now actually integrated in SketchUp. So you get a really good understanding of site and your site analysis. Overall, SketchUp is not too time intensive and you can also produce some 3D rendered images. Number three is AutoCAD. Now I will say that this software is a little outdated. I do know that some firms still use this. In my year of interning at DCI, I used AutoCAD maybe once or twice to get some government uh, land lot AutoCAD files or whatever I was looking for. I used it once or twice and since AutoCAD's release in 1982, AutoCAD has really dominated the world, but I think now in modern times, at least in 2021, this has really been replaced by Revit, which is why if you were picking between two courses to take Revit or AutoCAD, I would recommend that you learn Revit. But at the end of the day, AutoCAD really started it all and had such an effect on the digital modeling world and CAD drawing world. And it, you just, you have to thank AutoCAD and Autodesk 
desk for creating such a fine program. Fortunately, AutoCAD does not offer a lot of advanced modeling capabilities, but that's not to say that it is a completely worthless program, and I would still recommend that you kind of get situated and acquainted with it. However, if you do know other modeling softwares and programs, chances are you can really <laughs> kind of figure it out as you go. Of course, not all the commands are the same across all of these programs, but it's you don't have to know it to know it, if that makes sense. You can kind of figure it out as you go if you are comfortable with other modeling softwares. Number four is Rhino 3D. I use this program literally every single day. If you go to architecture school within the United States, accredited by NAAP, chances are you will use Rhino. <laughs> Rhino's great. It's great. It's fantastic. You can model so much and they use two types of modeling, which is a uh, NURBS modeling or a mesh modeling kind of system. And you can kind of pick and choose. I always prefer NURBS modeling over mesh modeling. Completely up to you though. There are so many commands and tools incorporated into Rhino that I still to this day do not fully understand or know or use. It's just, it's so complex and it's so, so, so fantastic and you must know this if you are going to architecture school. I don't know if people abroad use it. I know when I was talking to Kyle from Successful Archie Student, he also uses Rhino and he is based in Australia. So over there they use it, but I'm pretty sure Rhino's pretty universal, I would say. Generally speaking, schools and universities will advocate for you to use Rhino just because it has so many advanced modeling capabilities. And there's also several plugins that I'll talk about in just a little bit. So V-Ray is an additional software that you can use either with Rhino or SketchUp. I have V-Ray for Rhino, fantastic. Now, V-Ray doesn't work by itself, meaning that you will have to either use it with Rhino or SketchUp. You can see in this 24 hour transformation render challenge, I used V-Ray to render out the base renders and then edited everything in Photoshop. And if you are passionate about rendering, I would encourage you to consider purchasing V-Ray because it is a great software to have. You can add so many beautiful textures to your surfaces, lighting effects, and you can texture map things. It's it's just, it's great. Number six is Grasshopper. Grasshopper is a, another plugin available for Rhino. And I ignored this program because I was so intimidated by it in my undergrad years at Ohio State and this is such a crime it really is because this program is so underrated it's basically a scripting program where you can kind of write a write a grasshopper script in a way that allows you to do very basic tasks so I used Rhino all the time to loft my surfaces for my flow project my first semester project at UPenn I also used it to write the stairs and stuff like that. It made the process honestly painless and it was great because you just plugged in a curve and out popped stairs. If I was manually modeling stairs, it would take me forever to do that. Grasshopper is also used a lot in parametric design. I am not the best still at scripting in Grasshopper and I hope to learn more in my remaining years at UPenn, so I will let you guys know how that goes. There are also several plugins that you can add Add to Grasshopper to help create whatever you are looking for and I just I highly recommend it I think this program is just so ignored but it is so fantastic and number seven is Maya oh so my one friend swears by it he loves Maya he thinks Rhino is the worst program out there and now he does animation out in California even though he has an architecture degree but this just goes to show that you can do anything in architecture and it introduces you to so many programs now Maya it's Itself is a beautiful 3D modeling software. It's great and you can do so many sculpting and modeling commands that really forces you to model in such a new modern dynamic way, especially in architecture school and this is very, very encouraged. You can create so many innovative forms in Maya and just generally speaking, the 3D modeling capabilities of Maya are insane. Another big bonus though is that a lot of other people and creatives love Maya. So there's 
so many communities out there so if you are confused about how Maya works you can submit your question in a form and chances are somebody has the answer. <laughs> Generally speaking if you are a student you would be using SketchUp, Rhino, and Maya I would say for modeling. If you are a professional you would be leaning towards using AutoCAD and Revit. V-Ray is kind of the sprinkle on top. There's other softwares and plugins for Revit like Luminon I would say could be one. There's another one that begins with an E but the name escapes me. There are so many other plugins that you can use for any program but I would say these are the seven programs to really look out for. If you are an incoming student though I would recommend learning Adobe. Learn Adobe Illustrator, learn Adobe InDesign, and learn Adobe Photoshop. Simply put your school will be responsible for teaching you all of these programs or whatever program that they want you to know. However, they probably won't teach you Photoshop and stuff like that. So if you know Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign, you're already so far ahead of the game. You don't even know. Um, I was kind of thrown into the mix of architecture students when I transferred majors back in 2017. And I knew Adobe products because I did design school first and we had to learn it. And I was so much farther ahead of the game because I knew these products and that is why I recommend learning these softwares. So I'll have links to everything down below if you are curious about this program or that program where to officially get your information and sign up.